what a day! What a lovely day! Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome in once again. Today we're going to be taking a very brief look at the brand new offering from Jack Wolf Knives. This is going to be a very fast unboxing. After that, in a couple of days, I'll do a full-scale review. This is not the full review. This is just going to be a quick unboxing, an overview of the knife, initial impressions, that sort of thing. So, let's get this bad boy open. And, of course, using a Jack Wolf to open a Jack Wolf. And let's see what we've got inside. Typical amazing packaging from Jack Wolf. Kick-ass artwork by Sean Tiffany. We've got the Pog. We've got the knife in the microfiber cloth, which this time around is kind of an O. Is it OD green or is it gray? I think it's OD green. And of course, the all-important slip and the sticker. So let's take a quick look here and see what this is all about. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so easy to pull. Really, really easy to grab without having to use the nail nick, which on this one is almost the full length of the blade, so you can pretty much grab that from wherever you want. That's nice. These are almost identical in size. It's a completely different feel from all of the others that I've got because of how thin and narrow this little blade is. So it's got a different sound. It's got a different feel. It's got kind of a different everything. So let's get down to the tabletop and show this bad boy close up and see what you guys think of it. All right, here we go. Man, oh man. This is something that's wildly different for me across my entire collection of Jack Wolf knives. Coming in late to the game, I don't have a Venom Jack and I don't have a... Uh... Oh, what was the name of the other one? Gosh darn it. So it was the Venom in the Midnight. So this is the first time I'm getting into a Sheep's Foot or Warncliffe version of the Jack Wolf knives. And I got to say, this is really, really a, a wonderfully unique size. It is so narrow and so skinny that it's almost impossible to compare to the other ones that I've got in my collection. Pull out the uh, Havelina. Remarkable difference in the width of the handle. So you, as you can see, it's going to fit very, very differently in the hand and it wouldn't compare in any way to the, uh, the vampire Jack. Let me see if I can find my vampire here. All right. So you've got a knife that's just about the same length overall, but it's so much skinnier in both the, the frame and in the blade that it's almost an entirely different knife. It's crazy, crazy how that feels. But I think I really, really like it. I think it's a bit more of a delicate feeling knife than the others where I pretty much will use my other Jack Wolf knives to cut pretty much anything. Uh, they have definitely become my go-to for when uh, I get packages in the mail. I need to cut stuff open real fast because they have such an incredibly thin, slicey hollow grind that they just slice through everything absolutely effortlessly. And this one, I feel, I, I don't feel like it's so delicate that I couldn't ever use it, but I do feel that it's probably not going to, I wouldn't be going after like nylon straps or zip ties or anything with it because it just has a little bit more of a, of a delicate feel to it. Now the walk and talk is nice, but it's definitely not as pronounced as most of my other ones. So I take the vampire out, you can hear this one. You can definitely feel a difference. The pull is a little bit lighter. 
or is that basically just a figment of your imagination because you have such a large area to grab onto that maybe because you've got a better grip, it may feel like it's a little bit easier on the pull. But either way, I just think it's gorgeous. Now, uh, unlike the previous Sheep's Foot versions that he's done, this does not have that super long bolster. It's a more of a standard size bolster for him with the, uh, the dual lines. Very classy looking. Now, this is, has been described as the doctor's knife pattern. Apparently on a doctor's knife, a doctor's slip joint, um, most of the time you would have a blade and then you would have a flat kind of spatula-like tool. So it would look like a double-bladed knife. You had one going out here, one going out here, and the other one being an unsharpened kind of like spatula or tongue depressor or something. Now, as my most astute followers will already know, Ben named this model the Feel Good Jack because it's slim, low profile, and small enough to fit right up in your ass. So I, I guess it feels good. I probably feel a hell of a lot better than shoving a cyborg jack up your ass, right? Uh, just a disclaimer, please don't put any Jack Wolf knives up your ass. Ben strongly discourages this, or at least I've been told. Um, so what you've got is a knife that will actually stand up because you've got a completely flat bottom. That's one of the design hallmarks of a doctor's knife, as I understand it. Now, what I really appreciate about this is Ben's constant attention to detail. So he had all of these corners very gently rounded off so that you didn't have a sharp edge back here in your hand when you're holding and actually using the knife. That would probably have been a very, very sharp corner, or all four corners, I should say, if it was just left completely squared off. This particular variation is the Fat Carbon White Storm. <laughs> Man, that is cool. Now, while I generally appreciate more colors in, in my carbon fiber, I really like this one because it is a very neutral look. It's just black, white, and gray. That's it. That's the only thing that you've got in this. So it's a very subdued look all the way around. Well, until you get to that blade, it's very aggressive, especially with that top swedge that goes down almost all the way to the tip. Really enjoy how that looks. And let's check the fit here. Because one of the other things that Jack Wolf knives are known for are the fact that the, the back spring is always flush in the closed, the half stop, and the open position. And once again, they have nailed it. That is perfectly flush. You, you, if you Helen Keller this, if you sit there, you close your eyes, you just run your fingers over it, you can't tell where the titanium slab ends, the steel back spring begins, and then ends over into the next piece of titanium. It all feels like just one piece. Very flush, very, very well done. Just gorgeous. All right, so again, this isn't going to be a completely thorough review. I'm going to save that for later on. This is just my unboxing and initial thoughts on the knife. If I like the knife, if it excites me as much as the other Jack Wolf knives, and I'll say this, this is going to be a really nice lightweight, small carry slip joint for me. I think I've pretty much got all the sizes that I need covered with my slip joints now because of the various Jack Wolfs that I have. The Cyborg is uh, short and compact. The Vampire Jack is, is big and it's wide and it's broad. And the Javelina, that one kind of fits in between and it's got that nice curvature, great ergonomics in the hand. And this one is going to be that smaller, slimmer, again, like I said, kind of a more delicate feeling. Oh, let's take a look at the artwork real, together real quick. The Sean Tiffany artwork on the uh, canister, on the tube. Boobies. That's always a good thing. 
So yeah, for those that uh, are too young to remember, there was a uh, big, 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 <laughs> big friggin' song by Motley Crue uh, called Dr. Feelgood. And since this is the doctor's knife, it was a really nice little tie-in. Pretty cool way to name the knife, I think. Uh, ben is just a master when it comes to marketing. Between the artwork that he commissions to have done for these knives and the, the names he comes up with for each one, uh, just awesome. All right, that's going to do me for this very quick unboxing. Uh, just a quick note, these are going to be releasing here on the date on the screen. So all you got to do is go to jackwolfknives.com and you click on the menu to see the list of dealers. And you can go to any of those dealers on that date at that time and they will all be dropping them at the same time. So I would always suggest uh, that you go on at the actual drop time because if you wait a couple of days, the color selection that you really want the most is likely to be sold out. And here's the funny thing. I had a hard time choosing between them myself. I saw the, the purple. It was a purple. It's, it's a pink. They're calling it pink. It looks kind of purplish in the pictures. Uh, and I saw that and went, oh, man. And then I compared it against the Lava Flow. I was like, I really love the Lava Flow, but I've already got a Jack Wolf. My vampire is in Lava Flow. And I have a couple other knives in Lava Flow. So I was like, okay, I don't really need that. I'm not a real pink kind of guy, but the pink looked really, really, really good. So I think everybody's going to have a hard time choosing between the colors this time around because they're all fantastic. But... When you find the one that you fall in love with, do not wait. I would be there on drop day just to make sure that you get yours quickly. Because otherwise, everybody else that loves that hot color is going to buy them up. And then you're going to be SOL. And there's no fun in that. All right, my friends. That's it for this unboxing. And I'll see you on the next video.